Hey, what is up, guys? Prakar here, and welcome to another F1 2020 video. And uh, this video isn't really a gameplay video; it's just an announcement video. And the announcement is that I'm going to be starting my own career mode on F1 2020. Now, it it wouldn't be a my team career mode because you know I really wanted to do it in a Williams for some reason. Welcome to the beginning and, of the uh, I think with Williams, the motivation is always there because you've seen I've seen it fighting at the top for so many years and now watching it as a bag marker really sort of pains me and uh, that is the motivation you know that that I have to select Williams as a team but uh, maybe hopefully I think in the future we can also do a my team career mode but for now I think Williams racing would be it for our career mode and for our teammate decision, I think George Russell is the pretty obvious choice. I think he can bring a lot more to the team in terms of R&D points and also his, his skill and uh, yeah, coming up to the car launch day. And I think the 2020 Williams does look kind of pretty in its white and blue scheme. Uh, you'd think maybe towards the side it lacks a little you know, flair with the missing colors. But uh, I think it, it still looks pretty beautiful, this car. And uh, yeah, let's see on track day how fast it actually is. But now coming up to our main screen that we have for career mode. And as you can see, we have the overview and the different facilities and R&D sort of things that you would need throughout career mode to sort of guide you towards the development, the overall development of your car. But uh, for any race I think on on this game I think being towards the harder side of things in terms of tire makes sense in a William because we would be doing long stints and we we, we hope to convert two stops into one stops so I think tire preference would always be towards the harder side but uh, for now this is the RD tree and uh, yeah pretty much we have to make a lot of improvements on this car over the duration of this season but uh, for now, I'll see you on track day. Great, you're done with the technician's briefing. Look, I know we've got a lot to get through in FP1, but Will Buxton's been pushing for a quick interview before you head out on track. Uh, don't worry too much, he's a good lad. He's just over there. These media appearances are important for a few reasons. They'll help build your profile and your brand. Plus, your team will get a real boost to their motivation if they hear you praising them. Will, as promised, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, oh, mate, not a problem <laughs> at all, not a problem. Look, we've got to be out on track in about five minutes for FP1, so we can only spare you a couple of minutes max. Is that going to be enough time? More than enough, we're already set up. Cool, let's go. We're used to seeing rookies in Formula One every year, but this season there's a youngster that's arrived with perhaps a little more interest in them than usual. And that's because while they've been successful at every level of their career from karts all the way through to Formula Two, they've somehow managed to stay pretty much under the radar. They don't have that luxury anymore though, they're in Formula One. Millions of people around the world watching their every move both on and off the racetrack. So let's take some time to get to know them a little bit better. So tell us a little about yourself. What's the thing you're most excited about being here in Formula One? After your successful junior career, you must have had a lot of interest. What drew you to sign for your current team? What would you say is going to be the biggest challenge for you this season? Really appreciate your time, but I know you're very keen to get on. Best of luck out there. 